Hey everyone, it's Kim from Most Scrap, and if you watch my videos, you probably know that I am a member of Team Regina's uh, travelogue group on yourpaperpantry.ning.com, and today I want to share with you my entry for this month. This month I had the pleasure of working on Lou Jean's travelogue, and as you can see, her theme was Come Visit Me. And she just put some instructions in here about, um, uh, tell, tell her about our town where we live. And basically kind of like, you know, why she should come visit us. So it was, it was a real fun thing to work on. And I'll go ahead and flip to my pages. As I mentioned before, I live near Atlanta. And uh, I'm a Georgia peach. And I can put on the accent real thick if I need to, but I try not to in my videos. But anyway, <laughs> I'll keep being, I'll stop being goofy. Um, this is like all images from the computer I ended up using. And as you know, Georgia is famous for the Ray Charles song, Georgia on my mind. And I found this image of the welcome sign when you cross the border into Georgia you see welcome we're glad Georgia is on your mind Georgia's and then um, the no another thing Atlanta's famous for is for hosting the Olympics so you see this um, sign when you cross over into over the Georgia state line into Georgia so I wanted to use that because that gives you the song and the Olympics and that's why I chose to use this background paper. This is from Tatter Tom from DCWV. And um, with it being music notes, I thought that was kind of like a little play on the Ray Charles song there. Um, I did do like an invisible pocket right here to slide these postcards in, which I'll get to in a moment. And um, as you can see here, I put down a black flower from Recollections. And then I downloaded this image of the Georgia State Quarter and put glossy accents over it and then glued it for like the center of the flower. So you can see Georgia established 1788. The quarter came out in 1999. And um, this is our state seal. And um, of course we're famous for our, our Georgia peaches. On this side of the book... I did a um, pretty bit a five by seven photo of the Atlanta cityscape at night. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if there's a glare. Hopefully not. And just put a black mat on it. Some more flowers from Recollections with a large bling there, and just some little accent blings here and and right here on the two opposing corners. So um. This, the postcards were also downloaded. Everything was, all the pictures were downloaded from Google. And then the different attractions I chose are all located in the city of Atlanta, except for one that's in a suburb, but I'll get to that. Um, the, all the postcards look the same. And what I did was just handwrite on the front what the information on the back was. So in Atlanta we have the Fern Bank Museum of Natural History and then on the back I put a picture of it and put some interesting facts about that place, about the Fern Bank. And that's what I did for all the different ones. There's so many places to choose from I just basically had to stop because uh, it was just crazy but I, I tried to choose some of the ones that I found more interesting you know and thought she would as well but there's so many more um, this one's the Georgia Aquarium and I put a picture of it on the back and it is the world's largest aquarium to date 13 acres 50 species there 60 habitats as a 43 theater and things like that on there of course, Centennial Olympic Park. And there's a picture of the fountain at the park and um, different things that you can do there. The world of Coca-Cola. Everybody knows Coca-Cola was invented in Atlanta. And there's a picture of the Coca-Cola Museum. 
and some interesting facts about that. And I've been there. They do have over, well, right at 70 different be beverages that, they, that Coca Cola distributes around the world. And some of them are quite funky, let me tell you. Of course, we have the Fox Theater. And there's a picture of the Fox. And different interesting facts about that. And then this is the only one that's not in downtown Atlanta. This one is actually from one of the suburbs, southern suburbs, called Jonesboro. And it's Stately Oaks Plantation. And this is within a mile and a half of where my mother was raised. And the Stately Oaks Plantation is, based, is the Gone with the Wind house. So that's a picture of the Gone with the Wind house. And it houses the Margaret, Margaret Mitchell Memorial Park is where this is located. It's home of Gone with the Wind. It was built in 1839. So since my mom was from Jonesboro and I'm, I was born like 15 minutes from there, I, I just had to include that little one. So that's my little southern tradition part right there. So as, as you can see, I included quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six different places. But there are so many more. I didn't even, you know, there's Turner Field where the Braves play. There's, oh gosh, there's there's just so many more things. It's just crazy. But um, that's the ones that I thought were pretty cool and I wanted to include there. So Lujine also requested that we fill out a little tag in the back and tell us why tell her why um she should visit <clears throat> so i'll read you right quick what i wrote i put dear lou jean atlanta is rich in historic landmarks and tradition it is also a modern day mecca for film music and has a lot of culturally relevant places to visit the city life is bustling but just moments away, you can sit back in a rocking chair on the porch with a cold glass of sweet tea and enjoy the company of family and friends. We have mountains to the north, beaches to the east and south. There's nothing better than being a grits, which stands for girls, a girl raised in the south. Come on down and see us sometime. Y'all take care, Kim. Which, come on down and see us sometime is pretty common phrase down here and y'all take care is as well <laughs> even when you're talking to one person you say y'all and like you know I don't know why we do that but we do that so that's my little entry there and then um, she also wanted us to include the postage so Lugina I've put my postage in there that's taken care of so I hope you like my entry Lugina I hope the rest of you like it as well and um, I think if my calculations are correct, this is the next to the last entry. I only have one more entry in the travel log, and then our travel log, my travel log should be coming home. So next month I'll share the entry for that, and then the month after that I'll show y'all what. See, I got the y'all thing going on. I'll show y'all what the other ladies have done in my travel log. So thanks for watching and if you haven't checked out your paperpantry.ning.com please do so. Great crafters, great ladies, friends, great swaps, great everything over there. I, I thoroughly enjoy being a member of that Ning site. And I will see y'all on the next video. Y'all take care now. Bye.